Okay folks, so far you have uh, seen me uh, drizzling manually. Later in this video I will do that uh, again, show again. So there are two uh, possibilities. You can operate and drizzle manually. <coughs> but uh, since the drizzle is designed uh, for working 24 hours, 7 days uh, on 7, uh, we uh, automatize the whole process. And here you can see a rudimental setup of this whole uh, automated uh, drizzler. First we have the uh, flare igniter. Every 30 seconds he gives off the spark from the spark plug. Okay, as we see here. Then we have uh, the drizzler itself, it's good known to you. And on top of the drizzler we have what we call the um, PyroTouch compactor. It has two functions. The first function is uh, the PyroTouch, to touch and to feel the height of the uh, flaming pyrolysis. You know uh, the drizzle method is pouring in very little fuel into a flaming uh, bed, into a flaming bed of coal, a very shallow one or two centimeter of uh, flaming coal. And uh, just that little amount of fuel that the uh, gasifier uh, can process immediately. Now uh, we could call this uh, gasifier uh, 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 gas producer on demand. Uh, when the load is uh, high, the PyroTouch uh, will sense the fuel bed, which is uh, rapidly uh, going down, and will feed through the feeder, which we hear here, see here, will feed through the feeder uh, more fuel. When the generator is in idle mode, then uh, the uh, sensor will feel as well that the uh, flaming paralysis almost stay on the spot and will feed only a little bit of fuel. And then next uh, we have a, uh, a filter unit, which is still in, uh, in research. Uh, in there I have uh, uh, stainless steel shavings uh, to get or to catch the scorch element that still make it through the uh, cyclone. Then I have uh, porous uh, material and at the end I have a ce uh, ceramic pressed filter to catch the suit. We have our uh, um, vacuum blower and uh, the vacuum blower blows to the flare. Um, and the, the whole system is monitored by an under pressure sensor. When he senses a uh, pressure drop, which could, for instance, be uh, a blocked grate, then he can uh, do some actions, uh, like uh, saying, uh, turning the grate. The whole is um, piloted by a small uh, Siemens PLC. This uh, steering is designed by uh, the second man of the Drizzler team, Pascal uh, Kirschner, name in the forum as Crank. And uh, inside you see the PLC, uh, there where the red lead is, is the uh, electronic for the lambda control. Now this lambda control is now not in function, because uh, uh, we do a, a dry test now. We don't connect yet the engine that will be a, a later test so we will uh, for tonight we will only flare okay uh, let's wait for the night as usual to decide and to see how the filter works and how the whole setup works see you later stay uh, with me and more to come okay folks we just set uh, the gasifier on fire and uh, we see uh, uh, when it will be ready to flare.
Okay folks, uh, we are now, I think, uh, one hour automatic uh, drizzling. Flare is okay. The under pressure stays, uh, stays at a nice zero. So, uh, I took out a lot of material out of the filters, but uh, a little bit, a little bit, uh, I don't know what, but a little bit of uh, slight violet is appearing in the flare. So, uh, maybe I exaggerated a little bit too much by... Uh, here we are drizzling now. Yes. This is the Pyro Touch working. Uh, if he doesn't uh, hit this micro switch, then uh, that means uh, there is still a lot of fuel. Oh, he's hit, hit, now he's. It's loading in here, you see. Yes. Okay, the flare is uh, still going on, under pressure zero, and uh, as one can see uh, here, uh, that is the uh, when you just drizzled in enough fuel, so uh, he is at. Uh, High level. Okay, folks, as you see. The uh, Pyrotouch has uh, reached its limit and just uh, drizzled some fuel. Uh, we have a nice steady flare and uh, the under pressure stays at a fine zero. The second filter does not get heater than, hotter than uh, 60 degrees and uh, right now we have uh, something like 400, 400 degrees uh, Celsius uh, right before the cyclone. Regularly the, uh, the feeder gets a signal from the PyroTouch uh, to feed. As you see, it happened now uh, through this little micro switch. Every time the drizzler, the fire touch, touches the micro switch, he feeds in some fuel. Okay, and here is the flare. Everything okay so far. Folks, uh, we are drizzling now automatically, fully automatically, already a few hours. Um, kind of boring. This is a very, still a rudimental uh, setup. So uh, I am uh, far, I think, still far from that goal. And uh, you will see uh, some more videos coming along on my journey to uh, be uh, fully independent from uh, energy. One day I will succeed. Uh, important now is I always make uh, progress. Every, uh, every little step uh, is a little step forwards and uh, the automatic drizzler just goes along. 
feeding itself and uh, flaring as you see still going strong nice flare and now under pressure so uh, the fuel flow seems to be okay in my last uh, filter bucket I have a temperature of uh, 60 degrees steady all the time and uh, well the feeder has no work because the pyro touch has enough fuel so it does not hit the micro switch all goes well I think it can go on for hours and hours but um, I leave it this way I have to go to bed I think and uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you want to uh, see more progress on the uh, automatic drizzler then uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel sometimes I will post videos fast sometimes you have to be a little patient this is for me uh, a hobby project so I cannot always devote all the time but um, the goal of this uh, project is having a drizzler that operates fully automatically uh, the whole week long and uh, heats my home and uh, supply all the electricity I need for my home and this on uh, wood chips thank you for uh, looking and uh, as I said if you describe then you will be the first to know and to see what further process we make. Bye for now.